I walked towards Fort St. Francis High School. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tell us a little about yourself. Yeah. Yeah. When I look at your career here, you've been here for 20 years. This is my 28th season. So tell us about how it's been here at St. Francis. St. Francis is an amazing school, and um, over the years I've been truly blessed with many talented student athletes. Um, they work very hard in the classroom, and they work very hard in the gym, and when you have that combination, it's really easy to push them, to challenge them, and to teach the game, because they are eager and they want to learn. And we kind of have a, um, we've had a lot of success and so the bar is high and we challenge the kids every day in the gym to, to get to that bar and to continue to push themselves, both in the classroom and on the court. I think it's a tribute to the girls because they do want to be the best that can be and it's our job to help bring out the best in them and uh, there is a sisterhood at the school and, and we don't have a lot of team drama and the kids are truly excited for each other when they're successful and um, that makes it a lot of fun too. So. Yeah, it's actually what I asked the girls. It is. How it, they actually talking about you all the same time. How it's all about teamwork, about the coach. Emphasizes. Emphasizes that. Yeah. Now, the other thing I noticed that you've been coaching here at least 14 times through um, through through the Delta River. Del yeah, a lot of different. We've yeah, been in a lot of different yeah, leagues over the years. That one really stood out when I was. Thank you. The yeah. And then the other one was through the Sacramento of the other right. right, right. I mean, what are the things that you can give to, I don't want to say give out your secrets, but other things, why you had this, this type of success? You know, again, I'm going to attribute it to the kids I've been able to coach over the years. They're very, very deaf, and they work hard, and they have a drive to be the best they can be. And uh, I'm competitive. You know, and and so I think they feed off that a little bit, um, and I'm I'm very lucky to have a fabulous coaching staff. And Bill Hanrahan is my assistant coach. We make a good team. Oftentimes, we'll finish each other's sentences, or he'll start to say something, which was what I was going to say, and vice versa. And I think that with the combination of the two of us. Uh, it's been very successful over the years. So I'm not going to attribute it all to me because it's it's definitely a, a team effort, you know, not only on the coaching staff, um, but with the girls themselves. And I noticed, I noticed part of your experience comes from also playing Pro I did. Another thing that I did was pro. I did. College. When it was, you know, starting off, that was after uh, three kids. I still had the, the bug and could still do it. So I had a little bit of fun. You know, I wish they'd actually start up a, a pro another league, league, another league here. You know, the girls that play today, there's so much talent in our country, and, and they go overseas to play. And it would be wonderful you know, to see some of these kids that stay here and, and play here because it's definitely talent is there and, and the sport has become so popular, especially with the Olympics and, yeah. and beach and everything. You know, yeah, it would be fun. Especially uh, the game in that third, the third period. Got that was exciting, chance. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. especially with the third towards the end of the game. Back, back and, and forth. forth. Back Nobody forth. wanted to win. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it was actually nice having a with you. Thank you. you Absolutely. Too. My pleasure. So hopefully we'll talk again you know, in the future game closer. To oh, so. yes. That'll be great. <laughs> right, it was nice you. to talk to you again. Nice talking with you. So again, signing off from my start. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.